Boston University has been a force to be reckoned with in the America East. In 2013, the Terriers women's basketball team makes the move to the Patriot League with the hopes of returning to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2003. To talk about that and more, I'm joined now via Skype by 10th year BU head coach Kelly Greenberg. Hi Kelly, how are you? I'm great, thanks for having me. Thanks for being with us. So what's been the vibe this year and how great is the excitement to get started as a new member of the Patriot League? Well, our excitement really started in the spring once our season was over last year. Our players got together. They actually built a uh, little terrier with we're heading to the Patriot League, new era, new season, uh, same old attitude, though. And we're very, very excited. Our seniors are really leading the way for all of us. And uh, it's a very exciting time to be at BU. Can you talk about your top returning senior, Rashida Agbula? How big of a role does she play on your team? Well, she plays a lot of roles. And this year, we're going to put more on her shoulders. Um, she is... No doubt one of the hardest working players I've ever coached. Every year she gets better and better. She even gets better within the season. And, you know, she's been our leading rebounder. Uh, she's been our go-to player inside offensively. And with a few of our graduations we've had, she's going to probably take on more of an on offensive role for us this year as well. You enter 2013 without your top scorer from last year, Chantel Alford. Who do you see stepping up into her role, and how hard is it to replace a player who had 81 three-pointers and shot 42% from the three? Well, that's a great question, um, something I've wondered all summer. <laughs> but we, really, there is no replacing Chantel Offord. I mean, she is the best player I've ever coached. Um, she was great on the defensive end. She could really light it up. Uh, she could score in so many ways. And there's no one on our team right now who thinks they can be a, a Chantel Offord. Uh, however, we do think we have several players who are going to step in and, and, and lead us with scoring. And really, we really think we're going to have um, – a lot of players average around 10. You know, we have Rashida, of course, and Whitney Turner, and then our sixth man of last year, Danielle Callahan, will probably really step up as well. So more of a team effort this year? Absolutely. It will be, we really think team effort. I mean, again, Chantel could score in so many ways, and, and really she did it without, out of our offenses. So it wasn't like we just went to Chantel. So we will continue to run the same type of op offenses, and hopefully different people will step up. You also lost a team leader in assists with Mo Moran graduating. Who do you see being a quarterback this season? <laughs> well, I must add we'll never replace a Mo Moran as well. Uh, she was a terrific point guard who started for us for four years. So our, our, back, our backcourt is gone. And for me as a coach, this is a very exciting time to have to go into a season and not know who is going to start. And our guards are really competing right now. Uh, they know that there's a lot of minutes to be gotten. And, um, again, we're going to lean towards Danielle Callahan, our senior guard, our senior captain, who really has the most experience. And uh, she has a great feel for the game and can really shoot it as well. You've won at least 20 games in four of your last six seasons and haven't had a losing record during that time. What have been a few keys to your success at BU, and what do you think you have to do to keep that going in the Patriot League? Well, I really think it's our personnel. Uh, I really think it starts with my assistant coaches, to be honest with you. They do a great job working with our players on a daily basis. And we've really, really had great, tremendous leadership from our seniors and juniors year in and year out. Um, always so surprised every year. I have so much respect for our players who step up into that leadership role. And they really show the younger players how it should be done. And uh, again, they have a lot of respect for our program and for the game of basketball. And that really takes us a long way in so many areas. And you know, I really give all the credit to our players and assistant coaches. And you've been joining us right now in your office, right? You have yes. something special behind you on your yes, windowsill? Yes, I have a bobblehead of my mother. Um, this is... <laughs> My family and I did this for her uh, for her 85th birthday in March. Um, she's 85. Around her neck is the mir miraculous medal, and she, have, she of course, is holding a basketball. My mom has been to more games than any other woman in America, I, I think. So uh, I have 11 siblings, and we all played basketball, and some of us coach now. So she is a big part of what I do every day. Wow, so it runs in the family. Yes, very much so. We are a basketball family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Kelly, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck this season and welcome to the Patriot League. Great. Thank you very much.